Hi guys, this is Brat137, aka James Taylor, and I'm going to bring you a little review and kind of comparison of each of these two headsets. You've got the Astro A40s on the left, and the Triton AX Pros on the right. Now I've had the Tritons for about two and a half years, I've had the Astros for about a week. And, um, well, one thing I can say is the Astro sound quality, like the actual um, speakers have a much like louder and better bass sound. Uh, that's the big difference between the two headsets um, as far as sound quality goes. Um, I'll go more into depth uh, on both headsets, but I'll start off with the Tritons because I've had them longest. Now, these are the AX Pros. They have um, four separate speakers in each ear cup, I believe, uh, and it's true 5.1 surround sound most head he headsets do simulated surround sound in this it's true 5.1 surround sound which does make a little bit of a noticeable difference depending on the quality of your mix amp um, with the Tritons obviously you can see there's a bit of a repair job going on there that's because I sat on them um, but right you've got this mic here and it's really good mic really clear bends whichever way you want twists and unplugs when it's not taped together you've got this little uh, audio control and you can turn each different um, it's not going to focus but each one of these buttons is a direction in the headset front rear center and your subwoofer um, you can turn each one up or down individually or you can turn them all up and all down so they stay at the same level on here you've also got your um, port to plug into your Xbox 360 controller if you use it with that quick mic on off switch and then voice volume and then over here you've got the um, just general volume control uh, again I had to do a bit of uh, repair there what my dad did at least with um, on the wire there because it frayed part of one of my wires actually came off the circuit board inside here but soldered that back and it's fine uh, obviously that's after two and a half years quite a few people though I found on the internet have had the same problem where the wire comes away and breaks um, so whether that's an issue, uh, well I guess it is. Um, the mix amp for the Tritons has, um, well that's how the headset connects to it and um, yeah it's a very good mix amp, it does the job brilliantly. There you've got 3.1 audio if you want to plug in your surround sound speaker system to it. Up here you've got the USB for chat mic chat for P PC or PS3, well PS3 because it plugs in 3.5 millimeter audio for PC chat and then you've got your digital optical audio out uh, port there for to get your sound from your console to this box. Here you've got more controls um, volume or time delay because you can set time delay on each speaker um, and then you've got yeah pro logic which is like the simulated surround sound if you're using this mix amp with uh, a non true surround sound headset um, obviously there you've got your DC power in the headset itself also has to be plugged in DC power that's around the back of the PC at the moment so I won't show you that um, but it does have all both bits of the Astros have to be plugged in uh, by uh, mains power which is a disadvantage really you've got this quick release here which has about 20 inches of I uh, no, uh, 14 inches of cable from the headset to there and um, so you can quick disconnect if you're going uh, to the kitchen or something like that all of these pads come off these are like a foamy uh, material at the moment you they also ship with a leather ear cup version which is uh, it's quite hot on your head but feels quite nice as well uh, for a bit at least so um, well I'll go back to uh, these sorry quickly sound quality on these is excellent um, if you're gaming it is brilliant because of the ability to change direction volume it's excellent um, I can't really fault the sound at all the only thing is the bass is a bit low which is surprising because each because you've got your own subwoofer inside the headset uh, but yeah the bass is a bit quiet on them 
other than that, it's brilliant. The build quality is excellent. Um, the only reason it broke is because I sat on it, uh, which, you know, I wouldn't recommend. Um, otherwise, they're a bit heavy to have on your head at foot, uh, but you get used to that quite quickly, um, and then you don't really notice it. They're complete. They're perfectly comfortable if you've got glasses on underneath the ear cups. Um, and, well, it proves how good they are that I own them, and then I bought the Astros to replace them because they're broken and won't work with my PS3 anymore because the mains power lead broke, so I can't power the headset and the mix amp at the same time. I could pay to replace it, but as obviously there's other issues with the headset uh, being broken, I thought I'd just replace the entire thing in case they end up going out completely. Uh, but I do still use them for computer gaming all the time. So they are an excellent quality headset and they are cheaper than the Astro A40s. So if you are on a bit of a budget, they're still expensive, but if you're on a bit of a budget, then they're well worth it. Um, and Triton have actually improved the headset. Uh, they've changed the mix amp and they've changed the um, volume satellite control. Uh, so hopefully the wire fraying and things has gone away. Also the head cup, the ear cups twist on the new ones, uh, which probably mean you can't break them as easily. Um, yeah, so onto the Astros. What can I say? They are an absolute excellent headset. Um, it is only it is simulated surround sound in them. It's not true surround sound, but um, you wouldn't notice the difference really. The quality of the surround sound is absolutely perfect. Um, like I said before, the bass the bass sound is loud and deep, almost too loud for gaming, but it works because the rest it's mixed. The sound is all mixed perfectly, so the bass works. Um, like I said, these ear cups swivel like that. So when you're laying them down or you can have them lying over your chest, uh, they're a really comfortable headset to have. I put them on the first time. I thought, oh my God, these are wonderful. Uh, so yeah, it's a really good, really comfy headset. Quite lightweight as well, especially compared to the Tritons. So it's brilliant. The microphone can plug into either ear cup. Uh, it twists down and like that and it's fully bendable again as well and stays in pretty much whatever position you put it in. Uh, these are... Just one long cable um, connected to the mix amp. This is another quick release, and you've got your mute for your chat button there. The mix amp itself for the Astros, you've got this nice switch here, uh, which lets you switch between only game volume or only voice volume. You've got the Dolby surround sound there, and you've got your power button there, and it they light up in... They do light up in nice red lights like that. Which is unfortunately against the aesthetic of my nice blue lighting system that I have anyway. Um, then this is your main volume control up here. Up the top, you've got the digital optical for your console. You've got the USB for the mic chat. Sorry. Uh, and this is a brilliant feature. I love it. It's just a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And if I can get it back in, yeah. Uh, 3.5 millimeter audio cable there. And that actually plugs into your iPod, your phone, your computer, whatever you want, just into a into another 3.5 millimeter audio. And you can play your music or whatever you're listening to on the other device. And it comes through your headset while you're playing the game. So if you're playing a single player game and you want to listen to your own music or you're watching a film in the background while you're playing a game, you can still listen to the film through the headset and it's really just a brilliant feature. I love that feature. I really do. Um, you've got down here the daisy chain bridge for if you're connecting multiple mix amps at once for team chat and things at LAN events and stuff like that. So Astro really have gone the whole hog with this headset. Obviously, it's quite an old headset now. You've got the A50s coming out, but they are, as far as I can tell anyway, an identical headset to this just with the... Um, wireless mix amp and stuff that Astro released uh, after releasing this headset. So it's just a wireless version of these more or less. Um, so yeah, uh, again, these are a lot cheaper than the A50s, and but they are more expensive than the Tritons. But if you've got £190, these are a brilliant, brilliant option and I would go for these every day. Um, the amount of cables and things you get with the Astro is, is immense. So you can connect it to a dog if you wanted to um you could connect to this headset to absolutely 
anything. It's got so many cables. Um, the USB cable for this, uh, for the, the chat cable, is over three meters long. It's crazy long. Um, uh, yeah, so it's just brilliant. The packaging was all wonderful. Um, it even comes with a protective case for the headset, which fits the headset uh, in it really nicely. It's just a brilliant, brilliant headset. Highly recommend these. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I would probably choose the Astros because they are better for music and films as well because of the deeper bases. But otherwise, it's a complete stalemate between these two headsets, really. Um, the Astros probably just pip the Tritons. The, another main thing that wins for the Astros is they do not need mains power. Uh, the mix amp is the only thing that's powered on the Astros and that has uh, four AA batteries or an Astro rechargeable battery pack that they, uh, which you can buy off them for, I think it's 19.99 or 14.99. So it's not that bad after you've bought like three or four sets of four AA's, you've paid it back. So you might as well go for that. Um, and then it's so much easier to transport around if you don't need to carry around mains power as well. Um, you can even use the Astros with your iPod or with your phone if you want it to look really cool, like all the people walking down the street with their beats on. Um, so yeah, brilliant headsets. Um, highly recommend either. Uh, I love the I love the Astros so much and I really, really like the Tritons. That's why I keep them for my computer. So really, there's not much difference between the two. Just the Astros are slightly better quality, but then you're paying 50 quid more for them. So you'd expect better quality. Uh, yeah so if you have unlimited money buy the Astros but if you have to get the Tritons because you don't have enough money then you shouldn't worry you are getting more than a brilliant headset um, there you go hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, please like subscribe and leave a comment and I will be back soon with another video I think I'm going to do a video of my computer review some of the tech and that and um yeah, hope you guys are looking forward to it. Speak to you again soon.